Hello and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering Popper playing Mono Black Control once again. I've just been kind of itching to play this deck since the last time we played it. And so I figured I'm going to play it today. So if you're not familiar with what this deck is, it's the same list we ran last time. But we have two Baron Moors, which are the cycle lands that uh, enter in tapped, but you can cycle them away. 17 Swamps and three Witch Cottages for our land. Witch Cottage is a land swamp. Witch's Cottage enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other swamps, including Witch's Cottage. When it enters the battlefield untapped, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. So we can pick up some of our dudes. Four to file, target creature gets negative one, negative one for each swamp you control. Control, disfigure, target creature gets negative two, negative two. Two cast downs, uh, four chainers edicts. We all know what those do by now, I would hope. Three Kumbaya Witches, which uh, deals one damage to any target and one damage to any target an opponent chooses, but you can tap it to uh, kind of hopefully clean up the board. Four Sight and Bloods to draw some cards. Three Phyrexian Ragers to draw some cards. Two Suffocating uh, Fumes for some board wipes. Four Chittering Rats to, uh, when it enters battlefield target opponent, puts top card of their hand on top of their library, so time walk them, kind of. Four Thorn of the Black Roses to get that Monarchy. Four Grey Merchant of Asphodel. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is your devotion to black. So, you know, a lot of our cards are uh, black. <laughs> so hopefully we can hit that uh, devotion pretty well. And two Gerdaddies to round it out. Sideboard, we have four Divest, four Duresses, two Unexpected Fangs, two Geth's Verdicts, a Crip Rats, and a Nile Spellbomb to just kind of deal with what uh, whatever our opponent's doing. Let's get into some games, shall we? Well, maybe. There's not a whole lot of people. I figured with it being, you know, a little later in the day, there might be a little bit more people on, but apparently not. I will go first. Um, this isn't the best hand, but I want to keep it because we do have sign and blood. So we could just sign and blood for something if need be. Yield. Like how many times I got to click that before it goes through? Schwomp. I mean, I planes. Oh, great. Um, I'm gonna hold up this cast down. I think instead of sign and blooding here. Lunark veteran is not the most terrifying, but Soul Warden is pretty obnoxious. If that's the game plan they're on, which I'm assuming they're probably on. It's us for one, sure. No warden. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna throw down rager. Just as a blocker, we draw a card off of it. Cool. Find that swamps we've been wanting. This is a matchup where I don't know if I like Thorn of the Black Rose or not. Probably not. But I can't imagine they attack here. This figure was a nice draw. I'm going to attack with Rager here. Play another Rager. Pass. We have Disfigure. Up. I'm not entirely sure where our opponent's on here. Um. Let's Disfigure the Lunark Veteran and then we can cast down the Unicorn.
because they did play their land for turn, so we don't have to worry about Radiant Fountain, although we don't have to worry about it in the first place. I'm actually tempted to attack first, because I'm actually fine, I think, trading off one of these Ragers with their Unicorn. I don't think they have a way to gain life right now. Probably just going to fire off Sign and Blood here, too. I don't really see why not, you know. Ooh, Chittering Rats is kind of cool. If all the Thorn of the Black Rose is possible. Um, I don't know what I'll do here. I might just Chittering Rats here. Flying Overseer is annoying. Just because it's a flyer. Another Gur Daddy. Yeah. I think I like just chittering rats here. Kind of time walk him for a turn, hopefully. I'm going to attack because I'm fine with the trade. Kind of wish we've drawn some more removal. We've drawn very creature heavy this game, but. It is what it is. Probably. Probably bring in Crip Rats. Yeah, Crip Rats is probably the best card to bring in. Maybe Spell Bomb. There's Basculus Gate. A lot. I'd love to find some removal here. Suffocating Fumes off the top would be pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. Cast. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I was right. I was thinking in my head, I was like, could I have casted Gurmag there? But no, I was right. I'll activate that as a sorcery. Okay. So they couldn't activate it in response to suffocating fumes. Oh, also gets. You son of a gun. What did they pick up? Oh, the unicorn. Ew. Okay. We'll love a removal spell here. You're not a removal spell here. <laughs> I think we'll throw down Thorn. We need to start drawing some cards here. No way they're taking a trade here. I feel semi-safe of doing this. They have a trample card. They have a trample card. It is what it is. This figure off of this would be awesome, though. Nope. Yeah, if they pump it with Basculus Gate, I'm going to assume they have a uh, trample card. Battle Screech is annoying. <sighs> I 
Oh, life gain. <laughs> Can't imagine they attack here. Oh, you're not a very good draw. We're in a situation where we're dead anyway, so I gotta look for something here with Sign and Blood. Because all they need to do is just pump one of the bird tokens and we're dead. So I need to look for something here. That's not it. Alright, let's go to game two. Crip rats, please. Um... There's an argument for divest. There's an argument for spell bomb too, but I don't know if spell bomb's really worth it. Crip rats is definitely worth it. I don't like Thorn of the Black Rose here much, but I do like the fact it would trade nicely with the unicorn. So there's that. Kumbaya witches picks off their little dudes, which I like as well. Might just go down a, I don't know. They go down a Chainer's Edict. Chainer's isn't that exciting here. We had more from like sideboard. I mean, this is like, there's like a question is like, is Chainer's Edict worth going out and bringing in Divest or Duress? Maybe it is. I think we're looking for more targeted removal here. I'm going to bring in three divests. We'll see how this goes for us. I don't know if this is correct sideboarding. More than likely it's not, but it feels okay-ish. This hand, while I like most of what's going on, it just does not have enough lands. All right. This is a keepable hand. Probably going to bottom Thorn here. Might just bottom Gray. I think I'm going to bottom Thorn. I don't know. Bottom Gray. All right, let's throw down the witches. We can witch this turn, and the next turn we can sign in blood. Then we have Defile as a nice little backup, which I imagine they probably brought in some kind of like, you know, hex proofy kind of card, something to like save their forces. I would assume. Ginger Brute. Okay, Witch's Cottage. It's kind of nice. Let's just go ahead and kill Ginger Brute now. still get two life off of that? No. Cool. Two. And sign of blood ourselves here. It is worth knowing that they do have Ginger Brute, though. Probably going to throw down the Monarchy. 
its next turn just so we can start getting some card advantage here. Let's hang on to the... So let's hang on to the Witch's Cottage for a second. Mm. I think we just leave up Kumbaya Witches. Nice. It's worth noting that this doesn't matter with uh, indestructible because it's negative negative. So that's worth knowing. There's the overseer. Sure. Uh, that was my bad for clicking through that. I should have Kumbaya witched, witched beforehand. So that was kind of dumb. Two, three, four. Get down to Gerdaddy here. I think I like just keeping back Thorn, honestly. For Death Touch. Play a little bit more of the defensive route here. Yeah, we do have Suffocating Fumes, so hopefully... To hopefully uh, deal with what they're doing. Yeah, Tamiya's Safekeeping is really good for a life gain deck, especially when playing like Unicorn. What's this dude? Top four cards you may reveal a creature card with power two or less. Seeker of the way. Okay. Hey, that's an uncommon. In comes in the Gur Daddy. That's fine by me. Just get like a cast down here. Being Rager isn't awful, I suppose. I need to play this Kumbaya Witch better. I've not been playing it very well. Sure. It's going to be really awkward to hit. <clears throat> Seeker of the way. Another swamp, huh? Seven. Yeah, I think we can play this. Gas mm. down. 
sign of blood. <laughs> Trying to like time this disfigure just right. Well, that was stupid, because they can just pick it up and pull some morass. Oh, no, they have to choose it beforehand. Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Firing overseer, sure. They want to activate the gate on the bulger. I'll just throw a thorn. Yeah, I'm just going to throw a thorn underneath it. Even if they have trample. They did not. Feels like a really bad misplay. Another rager. Um, pick up thorn. Three. Play rager. Um, it's sign and blood. Let's just chittering rats you. And then attack you for seven. So if we go to game three, it actually might be worth bringing in a Nile spell bomb. Divest, <laughs> you're very late to the party. Divest will probably come out. Nile spell bomb probably come in. No creature. Sweet. Play another witch. Play another chittering rats. Okay, they scoop it up. And they just back out. Well, we went one, 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 and one against them before they left. So, well, let's just look for a game two, I suppose. We got into one quickly. That was a good back and forth, too. It sucks they just left. Well, that's what you get when you play these cues. Sometimes. I lost the dice roll. But I'm going to keep this hand. Blue. Oh, that's totally going to die.
not going to give him a chance to try to flip it either. What's foil do again? Fucking, of course. <laughs> you may discard an island card rather than pay this mana's cost? Okay. Well, we got the mutagenic growth out of hand, I suppose. They didn't flip it. Another Delver. Oh, this is not going well for us, my friends. <laughs> no flips. I'm by us. Delver number three. Counter spell. Oh, and spell setter sprite. I hate that card. Love the artwork. Hate the card though. Or we need Kumbaya all witches. It's got to flip here soon. Still no flip. Wow. <laughs> um like let's attempt getting rid of that delver Preordained to help filter their hand a little bit more. This is not the best matchup for us, but I'm going to bring in cards. For the sideboard, because like Chainer, this is not a good matchup for Chainer's Edict. This is not, I mean, Crip Rats definitely comes in, but I'm probably going to bring in Divest and Duress, honestly. And I also don't want Thorn of the Black Rose in this matchup. Because basically everything they have flies, so I don't like the idea of potentially just giving them a free, a free, uh, free monarchy. That's hard for us to get back. Well, ain't got it, so. I've had pretty much bad matchups every time I've played against this deck with this deck. But then again, I've had bad matchups against this deck almost 80% of the time anyway, so it is what it is. There's Ninja. If we don't draw a land, I'm just going to go to game two. Because we have nothing to do, because they can just counter Defile. Yep. And now cast down won't even do it. Yeah, if we get if we don't get a land, I'm just gonna scoop. There's no point. Hey, we got a land. They're gonna steal the monarchy, but we can stop ninja from ninjing. Well Alright, I'm just gonna scoop. Uh Crip Rats. It's gonna bring in all of it. I'm going to go down all Edicts and Thorns. 
And let's go down one. Question is, what do we go down? Let's just bring in the three divests. I'd like to go first. Heap. Dress you. So, Fairy Seer, Fairy Miscreant. Both very annoying cards because they're going to get the Moon Circuit Hacker. Unless we draw some kind of removal spell this turn. Or next draw, I mean. Fairy Seer. Yeah, Defile or Defigure would be a nice pickup here. Just another Duress. Uh, not the most exciting thing. I'm just going to fire off Sign and Blood here. I mean, we're going to get... Why did I hit Dismiss All? Am I stupid? I mean, I already know the answer to that, but... They're going to get the Moon Circuit Hacker here. I don't have anything else, so got to do something, I suppose. They didn't do that. Well, let's divest you now, then. I wonder why they didn't Moon Circuit Hacker there. They do have four spike. Nah, I'm taking four spikes. Four, that's an annoying card. Eh. I'll pay one just to... Just to be annoying. Probably just going to Crip Rats here for X1. I'm hoping they don't have anything in hand. My guess is they probably drew Counterspell. Did they really? Nah. Preordain. What are they doing with their scry here? Two cards on bottom. Clean off the board. I get a Delver. Really? <laughs> Rager. card I vest was not the most exciting card to draw but let's see what they got for spike they did not play a land last turn does it get to flip No. Well, 
Why are you not playing lands? Okay. You have the hard counter spell. Nope. Cool. No flip again. That's good. Still not playing lands, which is bizarre. Uh, I think I'm going to tackle both. I'm hoping Kumbaya Witches draws out something. Okay. <laughs> I really don't understand why they're holding lands. Don't know flip. All right. Got that one. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm pretty content with our configuration here. I don't think there's anything we want to bring in. Don't think anyway. Um, I'm going to keep. I mean, Kumbaya All Witches is good if it sticks. Chittering Rats is a little bit up in the air. I mean, Chittering Rats is good, but they also have, like, a lot of cantrips, so it's not as good. Um, I might honestly just kill this Fairy Seer with this figure, I don't know. Going to. I'm just going to try to kill this now. Just try to stick this Kumbaya Witches this next turn. I don't really. Relic's not the best card to bring in against me. I don't feel like. Oh, let's see if they have four spike. Probably, right? Nope. Cool. I feel like this deck has a harder time dealing with something if it's if it's on the ground. Raring to go. Um, I kinda like just duressing here and then sign and blood. Probably what I would have taken anyway, so. Not going to attack. All you're doing is annoying me. By making me click stuff. Um, Probably going to divest here, honestly. I don't know. I have three cards in hand. I feel, I feel like if they had a creature, they would have just played one by now. 
I might just honestly go with Chittering Rats. I also need to remember to start hitting Kumbaya Witches on their end step if they don't play a creature. Suffocating Fumes was a pretty good draw. Yeah, just keep up with this uh, chittering rats nonsense. We also have Defile to deal with something, so that's nice too. Oh, damn it. Kumbaya Witches. Why do I always forget that? I'm going to divest you anyway. So let's see what you got going on in your hand here. Um, honestly, I might just take Fairy Miscreant, but I'm probably going to take one of the ninjas. Fairy Miscreant's probably the most annoying, though, right? Yeah, let's take you. Kumbaya All Witches deals with these guys pretty nicely. And so does Suffocating Fumes. So, very much screen's annoying because if they play it, I just, you know, <laughs> Kumbaya all witch it away. Then I'll have to worry about it. If they just play Moon Circuit, I just do that instead. And I also have Suffocating Fumes and Defile. A second Witch is super nice here. They counter. I'm just going to Witch Cottage pick it up. Yep, sure. We have the removal we want in our hand anyway, so... Just grab that additional Kumbaya Witches. Our opponent's in a bad situation, that's for sure. Yep, that will do it. I definitely think that was the right sideboard plan. We had a lot of interaction with what they were doing. This hand could go either way. I'm going to keep it. Could be good, could be bad. Probably bad. I'm so tired of these Delver decks. They're just everywhere. Well, if you have Mutagen or Growth, you got me. Got him. But, uh, yeah, I think that was the right play of, why are some of your decks snow-covered islands? Some aren't. Weird. Another Defile off the top would be kind of cool. Definitely would be cool now. Either one a Defile or an Untapped Land. I get neither. I think we're in bad shape here. For now. Uh we 
And by all witches is more impactful, I feel like. <laughs> it's gonna go game two. We're already overran. I think we have a better advantage after sideboarding. Um, I honestly like the vest a little bit more, I think. Yeah, we did. They were building a board quickly. We didn't have a very good hand to deal with what they're doing. Kumbaya Witches was our best card. So, might as well. We were hurting on land, too. So, we're not playing for anything other than street cred. So, <laughs> let's just move on to the next thing. Headline Biden. I don't think there would be a recession. Not to get political with. Like, I'm pretty sure we're in a recession. Bleh. I like a lot what's in our hand minus these two gray merchants. We'd do better if we went to five. I'm gonna keep this and probably regret it. Oh, you don't play something turn one for once. There's definitely an argument for divesting here. Definitely divest next turn. We do have Crip Rats. I don't know, I guess it depends on what our opponent does. Files kind of interesting. Do we want to divest? Let's divest because that would be a good like bait card for a counter spell. Spell starter sprite. If I remember right, if we kill spell starter sprite, it negates the ability, right? No? I thought if we kill Spell Soder Sprite, it negated the ability. Whatevs. Well, that was a bad play then on my end. Fucking really? See what you got. Fucking force bike. Sure, I don't care. Oh, that's annoying. Dress you, we are screwed this game. We don't have anything. <laughs> We've drawn three of our four merchants. Like, what are we supposed to do with that? Plays an island. He said for two. Not worth kumbayaing their life because they'll just hit us. Just not good. You draw. We need to draw something. It actually might have been worth attacking, but I think it's better just to hold it up.
Counter spell? No. Cool. There's a land for whatever it's worth. Much of nothing. I mean, if we get another land and just start dropping these grays back and forth, it's going to be a different story. But we got to start hitting these grays, man. Potentially kill it? Nope. I can't replay, I don't think. Yeah, they can. Land here would be awesome. Eh, that worked. Still need that elusive land here. <clears throat> Oh, that's super annoying. It's a very annoying card. Again, land. Oh, take a look at their hand. See what they got going on. Okay. Definitely annoying. Very miscreant, very seer. Need a land. Left both on top. Cool. Oh my god. Really? <clears throat> One on top, one on bottom. Sure. Come on, we need a land. Land is being very elusive. Might as well attack with Phyrexian Rager. Can't block with it anyway. One of them snap that is card in his hand. Come on. Fifth land.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Another snap, really? I have an island, okay. <laughs> we have all these grays. We can just start firing off these grays. Them not have a counter spell. One time. Really? Moon circuit? We can't even Kumbaya Witch Moon Circuit. Come on, land. <sighs> That's super frustrating. That is super frustrating. We didn't get a land there. Oh, why? Why could we not gotten just one land? Jeezy Pete. All right. Well, we went one, one, one with the uh, mono black control. Um, man, if we could have just drawn a land and started firing off those grays, I really felt like we could have closed that game out. That sucks. That is such a shitty way to die. <laughs> it really is. Um, I like this deck. It's fun. I always like mono black control builds. Um, so I enjoy it, but, uh, yeah, that's been another couple of, uh, matches of magic. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, you can press that subscribe button. That little bell notification will let you know every time I upload, I do magic about three times a week, mostly in popper, but I also play through a ton of other video games, new, old, whatever, just whatever I feel like playing pretty much. So uh, there's that, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.